So today and we're going to do a tutorial on how to make a dress form. And there are many, many ways to make dress forms, but this is my method. Um, first of all, on graph paper, trace out a, a dress form that you want to make. This is a 112 scale dress form. One inch equals one foot. The average height of um, a woman is 5'8", well, at least for um, dress forms. So this is a 5'8", um, or 5.8 inch height uh, torso right there. So that would be legs, but I didn't draw on the legs, obviously, because this is a dress form. You draw the front, the right, the left, and the back. And this is to help you form the 3D needle felt uh, based mannequin that you're going to make. So that's that's why I draw, draw it out like that. It helps me keep the shape. You can use polymer clay or air dry clay, but I'm going to use needle felt today because I want to be able to have some flexibility in the torso and so that it's more like a actual real dress form that you would find in full scale. You take your cotton batting, or you can use regular cotton too, and you sort of form it to roughly to the shape of the sketched out dressed form. So a little more volume on the top and the bottom and less around the waist. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap kind of like in a ribbon formation around the uh, cotton batting. And that is to start off its sh a rough shape. So just wrap it around roughly. Nothing too complicated. So I'll probably stop around there and then I'm just gonna cut it with my scissors. Okay, so I have it cut and wrapped around the cotton batting. Um, now with needle felt needles the thing you need to remember is in the beginning you're going to need a fast felter when you're beginning to do this you're not going to know or how to identify which ones are fast felters but basically you're looking for a anything that is 30 gauge lower 30s 32 33 34 35 36 i think most you'll find like on ebay packages of 36 or 32 to 36 gauge needles so you want around there, and you can't really tell, I, I can't really show it close enough, but a 32 to 36 gauge needle will have a star formation, and it'll be square, the needle, and then that's how you tell it's a fast filter. Um, fine filters have, have a different shape, and they don't felt, or in the, sorry, this is a fast filter, wait, the fast filter that I have, that's this one. And um, you can, yeah, this is a fast filter, and you can tell because the needle is very thick, and it's got a lot of um, uh, divots inside on the in the needle or on the needle, and you can kind of see it there. And it's got them uh, quite far apart, so it pulls the needle, sorry, it pulls the wool fibers very close together quickly. That's what that's what these needle do needles do. So to just all you gotta do is pretty much stab away at the the wool and make sure it covers the cotton completely. So at first you can pretty much shape it any which way you want. You don't really have to worry about it, just be rough and just guide the wool. You can use two or three needles at a time. It helps it go faster. Okay, so I've stabbed away at this for about 10 minutes. And as you can see, it is forming. And I'm just going to keep doing it until it pretty much looks like the outline that I drew. And so that's the front. And that will be you turn it to do the left and the right and then pretty soon you'll have a good representation of 
the thing of the uh, form that you drew. You can add the neck and more volume later, so you don't really have to worry so much about how it looks right now. You can always add more volume to it. So I've been stabbing away at this for about an hour, and I'm pretty much uh, happy with the outline of it. But now I'm just adding the smaller details, like a little more volume, just to fill out the shoulders and the hips. And what I do uh, to save on wool, because um, wool can be can get expensive, so um, I take the cotton and I just stab it into the areas that need more volume, and they it uh, it pretty much works its way in. You can't use cotton batting um, as a replacement for wool; it doesn't felt up as well. So but it's great for filling in more volume. Okay, so there is the finished dressed form. I'm going to be putting it on a pedestal and then decorating it. So it's pretty, I'm very happy with the way it's been shaped and formed. And uh, yeah, I can still see a little, few little more things I could work on, but for the most part, I am very happy. I'm going to show you one more cool trick to uh, really finish it off. What I do is I take a pair of scissors and then I shave, well, kind of just shave off the surface of the fuzzies. So I'll just kind of skim the top off all over and then it gives a nice uh, clean look. And there it is, it's polished up. Some people like to use lint shavers. Um, I've heard that the, they give a good result too, but I just use a little pair of scissors to clean it up a bit more. Yeah, it's very stiff and firm, just like a real dress form. So yeah.